Well, talking about corruption, um, we're at uh, we're coming up to a break here, but um, uh, we've do we let's see, do we have time for that? Uh, yeah, we've got time for that report. Um, let's play this report. Give people a little bit of the background about Kissinger, because you know this stuff that's going on in South that went on in South America under his leadership and connection. Uh, it was denied at the time. Subsequently, right. later documents came out that showed that he was very heavily involved. Mm -hmm. These documents were declassified, but the American people don't know very much about what happened in South America under Operation Condor. So let's talk a little bit about that, and let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, David Rockefeller. And uh, we've got that report ready to run, guys? Okay, let's go to that right now. Frequent Bilderberg attendee Henry Kissinger has been in the news a lot lately. He was given the Intrepid Freedom Award by David Petraeus for his distinguished career defending the values of freedom and democracy. to present the 2013 Intrepid Award to my friend, and my hero, the Honorable Henry A. Kissinger. Petraeus should be more careful about who he kisses and who he kisses up to. Defending the values of freedom and democracy, Henry Kissinger? Apart from the secret bombing of Cambodia and allegations of other Vietnam War crimes, Kissinger was intimately involved with Operation Condor, a CIA campaign of terrorist operations and assassinations conducted in the 70s in South America. They put me in the back of the truck, they then put scotch tape over our eyes, and I was very scared. Like Operation Gladio in Europe, the CIA used terrorism to fight communism. But unlike Operation Gladio, Operation Condor defiantly operated in the open by the governments and killed more than 60,000 people. And they had a standing there in a line. And I was the last one to be interrogated. And he, at that point, said, you have to understand that we have to do these things because there are terrorists all over the country who would attack people like you Americans. And so we're doing this for your protection. We had no contact with any of the people that carried out the military coup. And therefore, the coup that overthrew Allende was done uh, without contact, uh, contact with the United States. Subsequent declassified documents showed he was lying. The Dirty War, the Night of the Pencils, Massacres, the Disappeared, and Death Flights. These are the legacy of Kissinger, the CIA, and their South American partners. There were two parallel universes. One was the life that, you know, you go to school, you go shopping, you, you know, you catch the bus. And then they, you get to school and some people didn't come back to school. And then people say, well, he was arrested or whatever. And so it was completely unreal because he just went to school and they taught you math, history, music, and then you came back home to look for your dad, for your friends, and it just completely unreal. You just start living this schizophrenic life where you pretend that everything is normal and they come back home, and then it's back to a tragedy. The most dramatic moment of the hearing about Pinochet was the testimony of the Scotland Yard officer. On such and such a date, I was handed a warrant and I went to a house. 11.30. I was shown in. I then went into a room and I saw a man that I recognized as the prisoner. Prisoner, isn't that a great room? The prisoner. And I walked up to him and he stood. And I said, Augusto Pinochet Ugarte, I arrest you, sir, for the crimes of conspiracy and torture. And I tell you, I thought, busted. When Pinochet was arrested in London, Kissinger, who was also under investigation in several other nations, abruptly canceled his appearance there. But in addition to war crimes and terrorism, what Henry Kissinger is most remembered for is his opening to China, which was really about making China the slave labor manufacturing base for multinational corporations, all part of the politicians' and bankers' plans for world government. We talk a lot about world community, but the fact is there has never been a world community before. We are now facing a common challenge, and the challenge is how to build a world order for the first time in history on a global basis. China was the perfect place for the globalists to set up their base. A small ruling elite that ruled with an iron fist. Here's how Henry Kissinger did it. When we started this relationship, there was next to no trade between China and the United States. Kissinger then tells the audience that what he and Nixon first did was to allow American tourists in Hong Kong to buy up to $100 worth of Chinese goods. He says that was a daring move. The audience laughs and then he says, We have now reached a completely different stage in the relationship. What an understatement. 
arguably the quickest and most complete transfer of wealth in peacetime history. A transfer from the American people to a few Chinese ruling elite. Not from Americans to the Chinese people, but a transfer of wealth to multinational corporations and a few Chinese oligarchs who continue to use the Chinese people as slaves. The same oligarchs that Kissinger's patron, David Rockefeller, gushed in glowing praise back in 73. He said, whatever the price of the Chinese revolution, it has obviously succeeded not only in producing more efficient and dedicated administration, but also in fostering high morale and community of purpose. The social experiment in China under Chairman Mao's leadership is one of the most important and successful in human history. Yeah, Mao and the Chinese communists really know how to treat the underclasses, according to Rockefeller. I went to Xinjiang area in Henan province and Anhui province to do interviews. The survivors there told me almost every village had cannibal incidents, and some people even had their own children. The Great Famine came amidst Mao's Great Leap Forward campaign. When I was growing up, it's not uncommon for parents to tell their children, eat your food because children in China are starving. What we now know is that a conservative estimate of between 50 and 80 million were starved to death by Mao's policies. Mao's social experiment, the cultural revolution, the despotism that caused the starvation of tens of millions of people, Rockefeller calls the most important and successful experiment in human history. Kissinger and Rockefeller have exhibited contempt for both the rule of law and for human life throughout their lives. They and other globalists haven't just stolen American wealth. They've used the EU and the Euro to create financial crisis in Europe, impoverishing Europeans and destroying national sovereignty throughout Europe. Just three days before the 2013 Bilderberg meeting, over 3,000 demonstrators protested the European Central Bank in Frankfurt. We now see the fruit of decades of secretive meetings being held by the Bilderberg Group with the leadership of Kissinger and Rockefeller. For two days, protesters have been protesting the fruits of Bilderberg past. Will they now cross the channel and protest Bilderberg in London as the banksters, puppet politicians, and Google plot their next steps? Bilderberg's role in creating European and international banking crises has to be exposed. And people need to ask why politicians and bankers are meeting in such closely guarded secrecy. The mainstream media's owners are there, but not the reporters. InfoWars will be there. And we'll be reporting at infowars.com forward slash B for all the latest updates and information.